So yeah, it's like, why are we even doing this to each other? But today is day two of the She Heals Love Edition Challenge. And today, um, question is, what do you love most about yourself? And like I, like I said, I did journal the answers, but I, I wanted to do like the video like I did the last time with the sheet. No, I, I can't remember what other challenge, but I did another challenge. And I think my thing is only set for 15 seconds for some reason. No, it's not. Okay. So it says, I am unapologetic about the person that I am, which can be a good and bad thing. It also says, plus size, well-educated, diverse, a people person, although an introvert, and I adapt well to my surroundings. This is, every, everything I said was absolutely positively true, especially um, adapting to my surroundings when it comes to, like, if something negative happens, because unfortunately, I've had bad experiences especially when it comes to certain women in the workplace I'm not often perceived good I'm often perceived as being bougie just because the way I dress or I guess the way I carry myself because I get it often especially at Target and I don't understand how people don't see that it's disrespectful to tell somebody you don't look like you should work here so what does a person that look like they should work here? Am I supposed to come to work with a bonnet on my head? The way my parents raised me was you put your best foot forward, period. It matters less who's around you. Actually, somebody shouldn't have to be around you just for you to put your, your best foot forward. That's something that you, you should just want to do naturally. You know, so you should want to look good for yourself every day. Do I have my off days? Hell yes. Everybody has off days, but in the end, you always want your presentation of yourself to be, you know, this is me and I'm I'm gorgeous and I'm beautiful and you know, it's not all about beauty, but guess what? At the end of the day, you want to be presentable. Do the compliments help? Actually, yes, they do. They'll boost your uh, self-esteem. However, the way I dress is never for anyone else. Me getting my nails done, me changing my hair, my makeup. That's for me because I'm cute without it. <laughs> just, just saying. But, you know, that's the way my parents raised me is to present yourself. So in loving yourself, that's loving all of you. That's the plus size me, the sweet me, the mean me all of me so that is day two leave in the comments i also want you guys to do the challenge too because i feel like you're gonna learn a lot about yourself you don't have to necessarily vlog it like i'm doing but i mean just write it down like journaling helps i swear if i had not if i had but i'm going to get myself back into the thing where i set aside time to actually journal it's hard, especially working two jobs and the kids, just life in general and family and making time for friends because, you know, my friends get on me all the time. I didn't really, well, I don't go out, but just not having that time where I'm able to stop at their house and, you know, chill for a couple of hours and even Kim Impossible, it, when I do stop, um, it's... Well, why you gotta leave? Well, you got, I'm tired, girl. I'm tired. But y'all make sure to comment, thumbs up, subscribe. Tell me how you're feeling about the whole situation of loving yourself. And we're about to take this She Heals journey. I, she Heals, she always make me cry. So I know it's coming. We just gonna, we just gonna let it be what it's be. Bye, humbug.